Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have a poured FY versus FTBK, and this is the LCS round four. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out Luxury down below in the description. They're the ones that host the tournament, so go check them out. And hopping right in, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see FT win the rock paper scissors shoe, and they're gonna decide to go first, 40 versus 40. You gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Meltdown, Ecclesia, Nib, Nadir Servant, and Droplets. So. Hey, I'd say this is pretty solid, you know, you got two pretty good going second cards, and then, like, you know, your actual engine cards are also pretty strong. And then they have Warbler, Droll, Called By, Warbler, and Sparrow. So, you know, they did open full combo here, plus Called By. Uh, called By is not going to affect either of the going second cards in this hand, though. So they're going to Special Summon, Effect, Special Summon out from the hand, and then Activate that Effect. Also, uh, we brought this up in the last two rounds that a lot of bird players have indeed cut Oath. So, you know, if they cut Oath, it's not really going to come up with Droplet. Also, at the same time, I don't even think they're going to be able to even combo that far post-nib, right? Because uh, that's going to go search out Wagtail. And then they're going to activate Swallow... Um, I mean, they could have summoned out, like, they could have searched Nerval, summoned Nerval, and then that would have allowed them to have pretty good follow-up post-nib. I mean, it's still not, like, horrible follow-up post-nib. Um, they are, oh, they're overlaying, but before they detach, like, on summon, they're gonna drop nib. Yeah. So, they're going to go ahead, drop Nib, pass over the token, 0-0, zero, zero, put it in attack position, obviously. Um, probably should just put it in the middle zone, because, like, now they would just summon some work over here, right? So, activate Bird Call. Bird Call to go search. It's going to go search out Barry. Um, so, this will still allow them to end on some form of interruption. Uh, they're going to summon that out and special summon out Starling. And the reason why they're going for Starling is because they can Wagtail, effect to attach to it, and then activate the effect to go search. So this will probably just go search out, like, Nerval. Um, obviously, they're locked in the XYZs because of Barry now. But at least Nerval will, like, give them a search. And then, you know, they need a level 1... They could normal summon out Warbler if they want to, but that's also follow-up. Um, effect to go search. It's going to go search out Nerval. Okay. Chooses to normal summon out the Warbler. Um, Alright. Uh, overlay those. They're going to go for Robin. And then they're going to go ahead and go for F-Zero. And then go for Draco. Um, so this won't be able to be, like, forced by Nib or anything, because this can't be destroyed by battle. But we do, obviously, see, like, Droplet here, which will be able to stop that. Draws Invocation. And then they're going to go ahead and activate Meltdown. Add Alistair. And then, uh, they said, hmm, think Resolution. I mean, they have Droplet. Sec, think with Pryo. I said, hmm, what? I said, hmm, on Rezo before you... Draw. Is that a noob or nope? Put it back. On Rezo, effect add. Draw. I was thinking. Yeah, they're going to drop it in the gate and this stops draw. Nope, because now they can't activate a monster in response to this. Really calling judge on that? You shark to win. I wouldn't say that's sharking. <laughs> say I was thinking troll on res. No win for sharking. <laughs> Who is this guy? Why are they so mad? They 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 should have asked, is resolution okay? Like, you know, this isn't just DB rated. It doesn't matter like if something like this happens on DB rated, you know, it's a tournament. It's a 3v3 tournament too, so messing up like this is hurting your teammates also. It's not just hurting you. It's kind of wild. Um, 
They clearly said, hmm, after resolving Meltdown, they can activate Droplet before you activate Droll. They said it twice, actually. Nope, check log. Think Rezo, he's sharking me. Added Alistair, instantly said, hmm. Um, your opponent's not sharking, this is how the game works. You're literally trying to prevent me from using my effect. Yeah, so. Droll do be in hand. I don't think that they realize that Droplet can be activated before Droll. I mean, maybe they do realize that because they're bringing up the sharking thing. Um, can we get a proper time extension now? This took like 10 minutes. Um, negate Utopia. Time extension, by the way. Your opponent can your opponent can use Droplet before you activate Droll and they let you know they were thinking about doing something after Meltdown resolved. Okay, so now they're going to normal summon out Alistair. And then activate the effect. Go search Invocation. Uh, drops Droll and Lockbird now. And then they're going to go ahead and go for the Amirage. Um, get rid of those. Summon Anacondas. So they could just call by the Alistair here. So that way they can't activate Invocation. Um, so if they activate Invocation here... Um, they can, in response, chain called by hit Alistair, but then Invocation can just grab back Alistair. But also, if they activate called by here before Invocation, Anaconda just summons out Enforcer, and Enforcer pops the set Invocation to then also just retrieve the Alistair anyhow. So, you know, it just isn't really doing anything. They're going to dump, dump the bricks, Summon out Enforcer, and then they're going to go ahead, and they're going to Battle Phase, Attack Over. Um, decides not to attack over the token. They do know the last card in hand is Nerval. Um, also, they were hit with Droll and Lockbird. So, oh, but they have Ecclesia and Grip. I forgot, Droplet discarded Ecclesia. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. They said Sec. Yeah, they were just... They probably just check the graveyard. Um, go dump Ash Dragon, add back Ecclesia. And then they're going to set Invocation. Um, end Phase Enforcer. Okay, End Phase Ash. Summon out Maximus. Okay, wasn't trying to use Enforcer. Yeah. Uh, I guess they just wanted to leave the token to make it that way, like, top deck, uh, like a Warbler. Or, like, a Bird Call becomes weaker. And then normal summon on the summon enforcer effect sec cheater call judge anaconda nice oh yeah they can't summon maximus that's fair that's fair i i fair enough and they also can't search because of droll so they're gonna go ahead and enforcer effect to pop here uh, pop itself pop nerval um enforcer graveyard effect nerval effect to go search um so that will go ahead and search out Kit there. And then they're going to activate the Barry effect. So Barry's going to special summon itself out and special summon out a body from the graveyard. I mean, that was a pretty excellent draw. But even just like uh, even just like any any bird really would have worked because they can just search Kuraz, uh, go for Omen, Banish, Blossom, and then like, you know, I, I, you're at least producing something out of that. And then they're going to get this effect to go search. So that's going to go search out for DD Crow. And then overlay for assembled. And then wagtail effect to attach itself to the assembled. And then go ahead and battle phase, attack three times. So it's going to be 24 damage. Um, main phase two, go for Zeus. And then move to end phase. Um, they're going to activate Zeus effect the wipe. What are you thinking about? Play faster. <laughs> They're going to DD Crow hit Enforcer. Also, this token's gone. Yeah, I mean, Zeus wipes the whole board. So, they're going to go ahead, standby phase, Enforcer resolves, and then Invocation effect, and Invocation will put itself back, grab the Alistair, and then summon Alistair, Alistair effect to go search, and Alistair's going to go ahead and grab the invocation. 
And then they're going to activate Invocation. And Invocation will go ahead, banish Alistair, banish the Utopic, go for Makaba. Um, then special summon out Ecclesia, Ecclesia effect. In response to thinking. Okay, so they're going to let that go through. Go search out Knight. And then Knight effect, special summon itself out. Um, that just negates Zeus. Uh, Dasher effect, tribute to gain attack. And then... Uh, move on to the battle phase, beat over that, there was nothing, like no nerve all under anything to go search. And then they're going to choose not to attack again to make something like a Warbler, not a good top deck. They're pretty much in the same position that they were last turn, except for now, like, most likely their one of DD Crow's gone, their Zeus play's gone. Um, draw Imperm. Also makes like top deck imperm not as good. Normal summon kit. And then activate the kit effect. This will go ahead banish and then Shmacaba negate. And now moving on into the next game. We are going to see the bird up player decide to go first. Opening hands we have Natty Servant, Meltdown, Droplet, Nib Meltdown. Honestly this is kind of like last hands. Um, the last hand, you know, Nib, Droplet for the going second card. So is Meltdown, Natty Servant. And they have Cobalt, Apex Avion, Cobalt, Tanky, and Swallow. Um, so the hand works. They're going to go ahead and Tanky search out Fractal. And then Normal Summon, Swallow effect, Special Summon that out, Special Summon out the Sparrow. And then we're going to get the Sparrow effect to go search. And Sparrow will go ahead and search out the Nerval from the deck to the hand. And then overlay those, go for Starling, Starling effect. This is Summon 4, by the way. Um, so that will go ahead and search out the berry. And then get rid of those. Go for Blossom. On the summon of that, they're thinking, but they're just going to let that go through. So Blossom, summon out Nerval. And then Nerval effect, banish four, special summon out Omen. And now they're going to go ahead and drop Nib. I wonder, um... Okay. Yeah, so they summoned it, and then like eight seconds later activated Nib. I was going to say, if they activated Nib like right when this was summoned, they definitely could get cheesed and say, oh, I'm activating Omen Effect. Um, Yeah, and if it like actually came up, there'd be like a reason behind it too. Like, oh, I'm trying to play around Phantasmae better. Because like if there's Phantasmae, you just banish it. If there's not, you just banish Tanky. Because who cares about Tanky? Tanky's just over there crying right now. And then they're going to get the effects. So go ahead, search out Karaz, and then search out Wagtail, and then boop, draw Fractal, put back Apex Avion, special summon out Karaz by discarding one. And then they're going to be activating the Karaz effect here. Banish two. Summon out the Double Dragon Lords, and then special summon out Barry. Summon out Wagtail. So now, like, the, the tanky's actually pretty good because the free send for the uh, Double Dragon Lords. Um, and then Wagtail effect. Go search out Bird Call. And then overlay those. Go for Starling. Starling effect. Boost the Double Dragon Lords. And then activate the effect to go search. That's going to go search out the Warbler. Um, then activate the Bird Call. Yeah, Bird Call will... Go ahead, search out Barry, and then special summon out the Warbler, and then Warbler effect summon out Barry. You know, they didn't start with this, they started with the with these these three birdos. And then overlay those, go for Robin. And then they're gonna go for the F Zero. And then go ahead and go for the Draco. And then end phase double dragon lords, bounce nib. Okay, so Ends on Double Dragon Lords, Draco, has Karaz on board, um, has follow up, pass, draw Ash Blossom. And then they're going to go ahead and activate Meltdown, chain Double Dragon Lords. Um, in response, they're going to chain Droplet to negate two. That's going to go search Alistair. And then summon Alistair, Alistair effect, go search Invocation. Um. This token only tributed 
Uh, there was nerve all under it, so it has 2,000 defense. That's the only defense that it has. Then goes for Amirage. Um, how big is token? So 46 by 2k, or 4,600 by 2k, and then activate invocation. Invocation will go ahead, banish to Cure Gardener, and Alistair go from Akaba. So I'm guessing that the uh, Purgatory will win a big game. Like, you beat over the defense monster, you guys gain 6, so it's at 29. Alistair boost, 39. Beat over, 19 damage. Drops down, so now it's at 47 attack. Um, you can do 27 over this. And then, um, it's like halved, and then you have Nadir Servant on top of it. So I guess I just want to play it safe. Um, go ahead, grab the Alistair. And then they're going to activate Nadir Servant. And then, uh, how much is Double Dragon Lord? Well, this was boosted by 600. Um, so, it was actually boosted by 11 then, because it's own effect, so, it's at 22, oh, so it's just at 1,100, fair enough. Go ahead, dump Elder, grab Ecclesia. So, was the Purgatrio by itself game? Oh, I don't know why I was saying 49, I, I meant to say 39, I, I said 49 when I, when I said Draco, I'm pretty sure I said 39 when I said that, but I think I said 49 when I said that. Yeah, I just realized that. Then they're gonna pop that. So I don't think the Purgatrio by itself was game. I think it'd be a I think it'd be off by some. Um Yeah, but they're trying to activate Robin, but this card No, this card in your grave no, no, you don't get that. <laughs> Whoa <laughs> I call judge. Go. <laughs> So, pop F0, which has Rob, and now he wants to return one. Um, yep. It's, yep, so. Go ahead, summon effects, search out Knight. And then they're just going to go ahead, battle phase. Uh, beat over, beat over. You know, they don't need to drop Knight this turn. Um, if it's not game, then you may as well just hold this card as an interruption. Pass, draw, draw, and Lockbird. Ah, that would have been good last turn. Um, so this is turn one now. So they are in time. Uh, I'm guessing that means the last turn was turn zero, but it just wasn't brought up. Unless if I just missed it. Uh, yeah. Okay, so. I'm going to say GG's turn, or turn one, never mind. Oh, probably because. Maybe because time extension? I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter because GG's, no, the time didn't even matter. Um, they just go ahead and admit defeat there. They could have tried. Yes, they were just salty or something. I mean, they have Barry and Fractal, which get stopped by Makaba and Knight, but why not try? Like, your opponent could mess up. Like, I think at that point, you shuffle your hand and you just play quick. You just, like, normal summon Fractal effect banish four. They go ahead and stop it. Barry effect response. They go ahead and stop it and then you just submit defeat. Um, but I feel like you try there at least. Uh, seeing how long the match was. Um, with the judge call. I think they said 10 minute time extension for it. So it was about a 47 minute long match. Which is you know, pretty long. Pretty long. Uh, but that'll happen. Um, next round I'm going to try not to get birds. For the feature match, because I've had birds like pretty much every single round. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe I'll try. I'll, I want to get B Trooper on here again. Definitely B Trooper, or like, you know, just go after like a good player. I mean, to, to be fair, the B Trooper player is Herman Hansen, which is pretty good. Might go after like Paulo too. Um, I don't know. There's definitely a lot of good players in this tournament. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.